Hey everyone, so I noticed on my uh, YouTube channel in the video tutorial number 4, Melee Combat 2 out of 6, people started having issues in the newer version of Unreal. It had to do with when you're playing the warrior and you switch your weapon. You're, after an attack, your weapon switches back. The animation plays. I'll just show you a quick example here. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the greatsword. And when I attack, he plays his animation again. He continues drawing the greatsword over and over. It doesn't matter how many combos I, I perform. So if I do two hits, at the end of the two hits or three hits, he's going to do the same animation. Puts the sword and draws the greatsword. Even if I dodge, he's doing the same thing. And this is a problem occurring in the uh, character's animation blueprint in the state machine. Uh, in 4.8, where I originally m made these tutorials, this wasn't an issue, and I think it's because of the way the uh, engine's backend code is structured, that's what I think. In the newer versions, it's not the same thing. So I'm just going to go over it quickly. And inside, I'm in the Warrior's Animation Blueprint right now, and I'm going to go inside of a state machine. This is the state machine that's causing the switching animation to continuously loop every time I attack. What's happening is... Here, if I go back to the anim graph, uh, I can't see in the preview nodes right now. I'm not sure where it is. Anyway, this thing keeps firing over and over and over. It's like a tick. So in the state machine, the tick comes in and it goes to run, and it keeps going through this whole line until it reaches the great sword idle. When I'm attacking, that's what's happening in the in the newer versions of uh, Unreal Engine. It goes here, and then it plays all these animations until it reaches this point and it stops here. It does it over and over no matter what animation I play under Greatsword. And something else I can show you here. Notice when I attack using a, a regular sword. Look at his right arm. The position it's in right before it goes back into idle. It's a bit up. But if I was to switch the Greatsword in the idle, his arm is down, his right arm. So when I attack, you're going to see it goes up, and then it goes back into that, that loop. That's because that animation that keeps the arm up is right here, and it's reading it, and it, then it's going through this whole chain to get to run GS. Just to illustrate this further, I'm going to go into the idle animations, and let's go into greatsword idle. So in the greatsword idle, you add new notify. I already made two of them because I'm recording this video a second time. But anyway, I made two new notifiers. I called one warning GS for greatsword and warning SNS for warning sword and shield. So I'll put the greatsword warning. What this is going to do is it's going to get called in the animation blueprints event graph and print a string. It's going to tell me, hey, this animation is playing. And I'll do the same thing in the sword and shield idle. So in this file, I'm going to put warning SNS. And I'm going to go into the blueprint, the animation blueprint in the event graph. And I'm going to make these two and I'm notifies. Okay, now that I have these, I'm going to print string. Make two of them. First one, I'll call it GS idle displaying. Next one, we'll call it SNS idle is playing. And we'll give them different colors. So the first one, I made it uh, yellow orange. And I'm going to connect them. So I'm going to compile and play again. Here you can already see it says SNS idle is playing every time it loops because he is playing it. And it's going to continue saying it. But now, watch, I'm going to switch to Greatsword. Now you can see it says Greatsword idle is playing and it, you also see SNS idle is playing. So both of them are actually playing. So every time I swing, it goes in that blend space and it triggers the whole chain of animations. The way around it, at least what sounds like a good way to do it, is when you hit the entry point, you can put a like a splitter, a conduit. It can either go to, oh, I'm in Greatsword, okay, I'm just going to skip right to Greatsword. Oh, I'm not in Greatsword, okay, I'm going to skip straight to Sword and Shield, but you can't have an entry be a conduit. It'll, it'll give you an error. It really needs it to be just a, a state like this. So the fix that I found for this, 
I can go into my asset browser. Actually, let's do it from the content browser here. So the sword and shield idle. I can duplicate this, and I can call this uh, I don't know, splitter. This animation is only gonna serve uh, one purpose. It's just gonna as soon as you enter it, you detect are you in greatsword mode or not. If you are, will you skip straight to your greatsword idle animation? So I'm gonna add a new notify. And I'll call it. I'll just call it warning. And in the blueprint, and I'll put this uh, up here. I'm not even sure if it's gonna get red because it's gonna go by so fast. In the event graph, let's call that warning. And let's just put another print string. I'm gonna call this splitting with three dots at the end, and I'll change the color to uh, green. Again, I'm not sure if this is actually gonna play because it's just gonna go by really fast. I'm going to compile that and go back into the state machine. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to type split here first. I'm going to put that file in here. So my entry point comes into splitter. This animation could really be like anything. It's just a fix for the situation. And from here, I can go to run. Or I can go to my greatsword run. Okay. Just gonna move this so I see the two dots, these ones. Now if greatsword is not on, it's gonna go here. So I'll take this greatsword on variable, I get it, and I'll type not and plug that in. I'm gonna copy this greatsword variable, go back into locomotion and access the next uh, transition rule. Paste it here and connect it to enter transition. Now let's test it out. Okay, so it says Sword and Shield Idol is playing. I see the print string. I'm going to switch. Okay. Now look when I attack. It still says it's playing. You see it says in blue it's still playing. But look when I attack. So even if I dodge, or I right clicked right now. Now it's fixed. I encountered this issue when I was working on my game, the one with the little vegetable warriors. Some of you might have seen it. And I realized that this fix was the only way for me to get past the issue. Ideally, I wanted to put a little conduit that splits, you know, whether you go to one phase or another phase. But uh, Unreal Engine just doesn't allow it. So, well, this is the fix, and I hope this helps. If it doesn't, you can comment on this video or in the video number four, tutorial four, and I'll have a look at it. So thank you, and I hope this helps.